for us on us is indeed an enemy. For us on us is indeed an enemy. Don't be deceived by it. You have not seen the deceiving one. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said that a person who sends one time durood or salutation or salawat upon me, Allah azza wa jal sends ten mercies upon him. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatun wa salaman alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulallah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habib Allah. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, Inshallah Azza wa Jal in this silsila, we will discuss another hidden sickness or another sickness of soul or ruh and that is called Bukhl. The meaning of Bukhl is stinginess. where you need to spend according to Sharia or according to the habit of the people or norms. And if you do not spend your wealth at that occasion, that is called Bukhl or stinginess. Oh, where it is necessary to spend the wealth. One does not spend his wealth at that place. That is called bukhl or stinginess. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ali Imran verse number 180, وَلَا يَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ يَبْخَلُونَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ هُوَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ بَلْ هُوَ شَرٌ لَهُمْ سَيُطَوَّقُونَ مَا بَخِلُوا بِهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلِلَّهِ مِيرَاثُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ خَبِيرٌ Translation from Kanzul Iman And let not those who are stingy in respect of what Allah has given to them out of his bounty think that it is good for them. On the contrary, it is bad for them. Soon that for which they had been stingy shall be their necklace on the day of resurrection. And to Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth and Allah is aware of your doings. Sadr al-Afadil, Hazrat Allama Maulana, Sayyid Muhammad Naimuddin Muradabadi, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, writes in Khazain al-Irfan under this ayat, that according to majority of ulama, Bukhl is not to perform wajib. That is the reason that there are so many warnings given on bukhl or on stinginess. It is mentioned in hadith mubarika in Tirmazi Sharif that stinginess and bad character, these two characteristics do not get together in a believer. Majority of commentators of Quran and Kareem have understood that here the bukhl or the stinginess means 
that one is not paying his zakat. There is a hadith in Bukhari Sharif in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has said that who is given wealth by Allah azza wa jal and he did not pay zakat of that wealth on the day of judgment that mal, that wealth will become snake and will be put around his neck like a necklace or garland and will keep biting that person and will keep telling him that I am your wealth, I am your treasure. Hazrat Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu ta'ala no reports that our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said stay away from greed because the previous communities and ummas they were destroyed because of greed. The greed motivated them on stinginess. So they became stingy. And when greed motivated them to break the family ties, they broke the family ties. And when greed ordered them to commit sins, they started committing sins. Stinginess is a very bad quality. And sometimes stinginess becomes a reason of many other sins. Therefore, every Muslim should try his level best to refrain from bukhl, to refrain from stinginess. There's a beautiful story to teach us a lesson that how bad the stinginess is. Munifa binti Rumi reports that I was staying in Makkatul Mukarrama and one day I saw a big gathering at one place. When I went closer, I learned that there is a woman, her hand has become lifeless, totally unfunctional. And people are asking many questions from her. And when they asked her about what happened to your hand, why your hand is not functioning anymore, why it has become lifeless. And she told them a story from which we can learn some serious lessons. She said that a while ago I was living with my parents. My father was a very pious person and he used to give charity abundantly and he used to help poor people while my mother was very stingy. In her whole life she gave one used cloth in the path of Allah. And once my father slaughtered a cow and she gave a little animal fat to a poor person. And besides that, she never gave any charity or she never spent anything in the path of Allah. Then my father passed away and my mother also passed away. And after their death, I saw them in the dream that my father is standing at a pool and he is filling glasses of water and he is giving to thirsty people to drink and I stood there and I was watching all this scene suddenly I saw my mother she's lying on the ground and she had that little 
animal fat in her hand, which she gave as charity. And she was covering her satar, her nakedness, with that old used cloth, which she gave as charity to a poor person. And she was so thirsty, and she was screaming and asking for water. Is there anyone who can give me water? When I saw this painful scene, I became restless. And I said, it is very sad. This is my mother. And, and the person who is giving people to drink water, he is my father. And I decided that I will fill a bowl of water and I will give my mother to drink. And when I filled in my dream, when I filled a glass or bowl with water and I came to my mother so she can drink water because she was very thirsty, then a voice came from the skies and the voice said, be warned if anyone will give water to drink to this stingy woman, his hand would become unfunctional and lifeless. And then my eyes got opened up. I got up from my sleep and I saw and I realized that my hand has become mafluj. My hand has become lifeless and unfunctional. Dearest viewers of Madani channel, there are several reasons for bukhl. There are several reasons for stinginess. And we will discuss those reasons and will try to give the treatment as well. The first reason of bukhl or stinginess is the fear of becoming poor. This is the mind of some people that if they give zakat, if they give charity, if they help people, then that amount of wealth will become less from their total wealth. And because of that, they don't give in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. They want to keep that wealth with them and hold it very tight. So this is the fear that some people have and because of that they become stingy. And its treatment is that one should keep in mind that by spending in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, wealth never reduces, it never becomes less. In fact, the wealth increases. One of the meaning of the word zakat is growth. So when people give zakat, whereas their wealth is purified, with that their wealth increases as well. So don't ever think this is actually the deception of shaitan. This thought is put into the mind or into the heart by shaitan. Because shaitan always gives bad advice. Shaitan gives bad mashwara. And he makes you afraid of this situation that if you give in the path of Allah, your wealth will become less. No, that's not true. In fact, your wealth will increase. The more you give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you more. Trust in him and your wealth will never decrease. And people who give in the path of Allah, the generous people, we always see them, that they become richer and richer, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them from the treasures of unseen. The reason number two is the love for mal, love for wealth. And this is also a very big sickness that a lot of people are suffering with this sickness that 
पीपल हैव लव फॉर मनी दे हैव लव फॉर वेल्थ दे हैव लव फॉर दुनिया और द ट्रेजर्स ऑफ दिस दुनिया ओ द रिसोर्सेज देर आर दे आर इन दिस दुनिया दे लव दैम एंड दे होल्ड दैम सो टाइट दैट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड एंड इट्स ट्रीटमेंट इज दैट वन शुड थिंक द लोनलीनेस ऑफ कबर एंड ग्रेव दैट माई वेल्थ माई मनी माई गोल्ड माई सिल्वर will not come with me in the grave rather after my death my heirs they will take that wealth and painlessly they will use that money and mostly people use this kind of money that they receive for free on the wrong things it doesn't matter how much wealth you accumulate how much wealth you collect how much money you collect you can be millionaire you can be billionaire you can be the richest person in the world death is a reality and death is coming and when death comes you will die everyone will die i will die you will die and nobody can take his wealth to his grave and even if someone says no put all my wealth in my grave still there is no benefit of that wealth to him in the grave so why should we love mal so much yes there is need mal is our need we are not created to collect wealth we are created to worship allah azza wa jal money is our need wealth is our need so according to our need we must spend it no problem with that as long as it is lawful it is halal but we must not give our heart and our soul to mal or to wealth look at the example of sahaba ikram of many other pious people including امام اعظم ابو حنیفہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ حضور سیدنا غوث اعظم رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ دے وہ ویلتھی پیپل نو ڈاؤٹ حضرت سیدنا عثمان غنی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ واز اے ویلتھی پرسن حضرت سیدنا عبد الرحمن بن عوف رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ واز اے ویلتھی پرسن بٹ دے نیور لوڈ ویلتھ وین دا نیڈ کیم ٹو اسپینڈ دا ویلتھ ان دا پات آف اللہ ضوجل they gave without any reservation without any restrictions so the wealth did not go into their hearts they did not love wealth they used wealth to do the work to serve the deen and to look after their families and fulfill their responsibilities hazrat maulana room rahmatullah taala alay gives a beautiful example He says that if you have boat in the water then that boat is safe it would be floating on the water it will be functioning it will take you from one point to the other point but if water goes into the boat then there is destruction so similar is the example of believers that when we live in this dunya and if wealth is all around us and we are in the wealth then that's fine but if the wealth goes into us mean wealth finds its place in our hearts and we start loving the wealth then it is same like the water came into the boat and when the water comes into the boat then indeed that boat is going to sink and whoever is sitting in that boat would also die and that boat would also be destroyed 
So when the money comes into the hearts, and when money comes into the heart, when we start loving money, when we start loving the wealth. So therefore, we must keep pondering upon these facts and these issues to get rid of this reality that is there in many hearts that people start loving the wealth itself. The third reason of bukhl and stinginess is that the carnal desires dominate person's feelings, that he becomes the slave of his desires. So he does not spend money where he should have been spending the money. And this would also be one of his desires that I must have more money. So he's controlled by desires. And we need to treat that sickness. And the treatment is that one should ponder upon and look at the losses and the difficulties and the bad circumstances. And its treatment is that one should ponder upon and look at the losses of khahishat, the losses of carnal desires. And one should ponder upon the consequences of these kind of characteristics. For example, following khahishat and following desires and carnal desires. In, in the Akhirah, what are the consequences of that? So when you ponder upon these things, you will be able to get rid of this sickness of soul and ruh and this hidden sickness. The fourth reason of bukhl or stinginess is that person is worried about the bright future of his children. Now, so he wants to collect every cent, every penny, every pesa, so he can have enough money to educate his children or to, or to afford the wedding of his daughter, etc. These are some kind of worries that people have. And based on that, they become stingy. You must know that even though you have responsibilities about your children and of your family, but it means that whatever lawfully you can do for them, you must do for them. Everyone that comes into this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided that person's future and destiny and sustenance. People don't care about halal and haram when it comes to children. They want to fulfill their desires. They want to see them that they're happy. They want to see that they're wearing the best clothes. So they will buy expensive branded clothes for their children. Branded expensive shoes for their children. Send them in the best schools. Have best medical care for them. But many would not worry, many would not care where the money is coming from. People take bribery and they say we are forced to take bribery because if we don't take bribery, the salary is not enough to take care of my family. People steal, they rob, they cheat, they get involved in businesses which are based on interest buy stolen goods and sell them cheap. So this way they can make quick money and big money. Why? Because they feel they have to give good life to their children. They're worried about the bright future of their children. You must remember that while one is doing all the wrong things and he's feeding his family, his children, with the haram risk and using the haram means. 
his very family will stand up against him on the day of judgment. You are doing so much for your children. You don't even care about halal and haram. Will they help you on the day of judgment? When you are short of one neki and you are told, go find one neki. And you come to your son, you come to your daughter. That, oh my son, oh my daughter, I'm in trouble. Just give me one neki. If you give me one neki, I will go to Jannat. They will refuse. They will not give you. You can remind them how much you want to remind them. That I'm your father. I've done this for you. I've done that for you. I went through so many difficulties because of you to give you good time, to give you good clothes, to give you good shoes, to give you good education, to give you the best and, and, and very good medical care. I did everything for you. You can do whatever you want to do. You will not get one neki, one good deed from your child. So why should we not think of all these things and do the right thing? Yes, it's natural. Everyone is worried about the bright future of their children. But this does not mean that we must break the limits of Allah Azza wa Jal and then reach to a level where we develop the habit of stinginess which is indeed a hidden sickness and a sickness and illness of the soul and the ruh. The fifth reason of bukhl or stinginess is that person is careless about the matters of akhirat and this needs to be treated and the treatment is that one should ponder upon the fact that after death the wealth which I have spent in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal that would give me the benefit it's, it's also mentioned in Hadith Mubarakah and the summary of Hadith Mubarakah is that your wealth is that which you have spent already upon yourself, upon your needs. And that portion of your wealth which you have given in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, which you have sent forward, which you have given in charity, that's yours. The rest of the wealth is not yours. That is for the hairs, that's for other people. So you're so worried about other people, you're so, so worried about your hairs, and you're not worried about your own benefits, you're not worried about your own comfort in the akhirah, because nobody will be able to bear the punishment in the akhirah, not even for a split second. The adab of Allah is very severe, the least punishment that is given to a person in Jahannam, he is given the shoe of fire to weigh. And it would be so hot that the heat will travel from his feet through his legs and body and will reach his head and his brain will start boiling. And he will think that I'm being punished the most. Whereas in reality, he is being punished the least. Who can bear that? Dearest viewers of Madani channel, think about this deeply and worry about this fact. We cannot afford to be stingy. We have to give our zakat. We have to give charity. We have to give sadaqa. We have to help poor people. We have to help those who are in need. So this way, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, we will attain the success of Akhirah and we must make sure that we do everything possible to get rid of this hidden sickness which is called Bukhl and which is called stinginess. So we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us steadfastness on sirat -e mustaqim on the path of Salat and Sunnah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must not include us amongst the stingy ones 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must include us amongst the generous ones. Ameen, bijahin nabil ameen, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salatu wa salamat. Alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah wa ala alika wa sahabika ya habib Allah. Urazanas is indeed an enemy. Urazanas is indeed an enemy. Don't be deceived by it. You have not seen the deceiving one.